Hi, I'm Castor Grand Mayor Bob Jackson. City of Castor Grand provides many services to our residents. They include such things as maintaining our parks, keeping our roads safe, and also providing public safety to the 50,000 plus residents of the community. Please join me in looking at some of the accomplishments of the City of Castor Grand in 2013. In 2013, the City of Casa Grande created a Metropolitan Planning Organization to promote and enhance regional transportation planning. When a city reaches a population of over 50,000, the federal government requires the municipality to create a Metropolitan Planning Organization. Casa Grande reached that milestone last year. The newly formed organization is called the Sun Corridor Metropolitan Planning Organization and combines the cities of Casa Grande, Eloy, Coolidge, and Pinal County. The organization will receive annual allocation of federal funds for the construction and improvement of major roads in the area. The City of Casa Grande joined a handful of other organizations that are using solar energy to reduce utility costs. The project consists of over 3,400 photovoltaic panels, which will help the city reduce its electricity usage by over 1 million kilowatt hours. That's approximately the amount to power 114 homes. Last year, the Public Information Office produced a new show called Parade of Paws to increase pet adoptions at the Casa Grande Animal Care and Adoption Center. The show is broadcast on Cox Channel 11 and streamed online. Continue to produce City Scene Talk Show to inform residents about city projects, programs, and services. City Scene is also broadcast on Cox Channel 11 and streamed online. Graduated 18 residents from the city's Leadership Academy. Held every year, this unique program connects citizens with their city government and encourages participation in city-related activities launched a new city website offering visitors an easier way of accessing information. Frequently searched items are now just a click or two away. Implemented video streaming of city council meetings both live and on demand. Residents who can't attend city council meetings and don't have Cox Cable can now watch them anywhere, anytime. Published the city's first services guide. The guide is meant to help newcomers and longtime residents get acquainted with the city's services, programs and events. Free copies are available at any city facility. The Community Services Department provides recreation opportunities for the entire family. The department is comprised of four divisions, parks, recreation, library, and golf. Last year, the Teen Summer Reading Program saw a 67% increase in the number of participants and the Adult Summer Reading Program saw an increase of 66%. New exercise equipment was installed at the Dorothy Powell Senior Adult Center located at 405 East 6th Street. The fitness equipment is free to use for all Casa Grande residents age 50 and over. The City of Castor Grande was awarded a $65,000 grant from the Gila River Indian Community to fund the construction of a pavilion at the Ed Hooper Rodeo Grounds. Placed south of the bleachers near the concession area, the pavilion is a covered structure built on a concrete platform. Grant money was also used to make improvements and upgrades to the six aging bucking chutes originally built in the 1970s. The Little League complex was renovated to include a new irrigation system, new fencing, and improvements to two of the diamonds for softball to accommodate the growing number of softball teams in Casa Grande. Located at 900 North Amarillo Street, the facility is a popular recreation venue for hundreds of children in the community. The city of Casa Grande was the recipient of several awards and recognitions in 2013. The Government Finance Officers Association presented the city with three awards for excellence in financial reporting. Every year, the city prepares and publishes an annual budget, comprehensive financial report, and a popular report. The popular annual financial report is a colorful publication and an easy to understand format that is mailed to all households in Casa Grande. The annual comprehensive report really talks about where we spend our money and in what activities. And then the budget, uh, annual budget report really speaks about how we're going to spend our money. Ultimately, it really speaks about all staff how responsible they are, the leadership, the, um, the management, and then the council being the steward for those financial um, revenues that we receive. The city was also recognized as a Tree City USA and Playful City USA community. With more than 2,000 trees and plenty of parks and recreation programs, residents have an abundance of opportunities of indoor and outdoor fun. Casa Grande was also recognized for its efforts to prevent childhood obesity by the National League of Cities. The city was awarded five medals for action taken to improve access to healthy, affordable food 
and increase opportunities for physical activity as part of the Let's Move initiative. Efforts include promoting the MyPlate poster in city facilities that serve food, for having at least 80% of city-owned or operated venues serve food that complies with the dietary guidelines for Americans, for mapping all place spaces in Casa Grande, and for having an active interagency collaboration on early care and education programs. The Let's Move program aims to increase the opportunities for children to be physically fit both inside of the classroom and outside of the classroom. In addition, they strive to bring children and families together to participate in physical activities. A 33-year veteran of the city, Rod Wood was named Parks Professional of the Year by the Arizona Parks and Recreation Association. He was nominated for the award for his involvement in planning and leading the Trails Project at Casa Grande Mountain Park. Rod was the first recipient of this award by APRA. Rob Wood I've known for a long, long time. He was very instrumental in work out at the rodeo grounds and in other areas of town and he's kind of been an unsung hero. I'm really glad to see him get the recognition for this. The city's building division staff demonstrated their commitment to public safety and diverse knowledge of construction safety codes when they all earned certifications by the International Code Council. The Code Council Certification Program is the largest and most prestigious credentialing program for construction code administration and enforcement professionals in the country. It's important to note that only seven other cities uh, in Arizona have that distinction. And what it does, it really allows um, the city to really look at design and safety standards and ensuring that the city has the best uh, staff available and the construction that is done is done with all the safety and design standards that are needed. The water reclamation facility also garnered awards in 2013. The expansion project completed in 2012 was named the best clean water project of the year by the Water Infrastructure Finance Authority of Arizona. The expansion project doubled wastewater capacity from 6 million gallons a day to 12 million gallons a day and enabled the city to discharge A plus quality effluent. That's the highest class rating given by the Arizona Department of Environmental Quality. The facility was also named the Wastewater Treatment Plan of the Year and City Employee Danny Allen was named Operator of the Year by the Arizona Water Association. Danny has worked for the city for over four years and was nominated for his exceptional performance in wastewater collection operations. With the growth of Cass Grand, we needed to expand the facilities and I think uh, staff and council have been out in front and uh, making sure that we uh, we always had the capacity to take new growth and yet handle what we, we have at a very economical uh, expense to the taxpayer. The City of Casa Grande has several boards, commissions, and committees. These groups assist the city with information gathering and provide important feedback on a variety of issues of interest on the community. The Historic Preservation Commission installed a pedestal and plaque on the southwest corner of 3rd and Florence Streets. The purpose of the plaque is to promote Casa Grande's history in a public setting for everyone to enjoy. The Casa Grande Youth Commission dedicated the Garden of Sunshine Youth Memorial in honor of members of the community who have died as children or teenagers. The Memorial Garden is open to youth who have a Casa Grande connection. It's located next to the Palm Island Family Aquatics Park at 1115 North Brown Avenue. Public safety remained a top priority in our community in 2013. Last year, the city hired Johnny Cervantes as the new chief of police to oversee all operations and lead the Casa Grande Police Department. Chief Cervantes comes to Casa Grande with more than 20 years of experience in law enforcement. Last year, the police department implemented the Offender Watch program to manage registered sex offenders in the community and make effective community notifications. As part of the program, residents can search for the presence of registered sex offenders in proximity to their home, place of work, schools, and daycares. To access the Offender Watch website, visit the website on your screen. Detectives also conducted follow-up investigations on more than 570 criminal cases. Special Enforcement Units, in partnership with the U.S. Marshals Service, arrested over 460 criminal offenders. Narcotics Unit Detectives arrested more than 130 offenders. The Police Department continued using grant funding from the Department of Justice COPS program to maintain school resource officers at Casa Grande Union High School, Vista Grande High School, Vilago Middle School, and Casa Grande Middle School. The department also organized and maintained 122 active neighborhood watch and 15 active crime-free multi-housing programs. These programs are meant to reduce crime in neighborhoods. The Casa Grande Fire Department provides professional fire protection and life safety services to Casa Grande residents. 
Last year, the fire department, with the help of 91 volunteers, installed more than 300 smoke detectors in homes as part of the annual smoke detector installation program held every year in October. Salt River Project awarded the Casa Grande Fire Department a $66,000 grant to provide confined space rescue training and equipment to local firefighters. Additionally, a grant from FEMA assisted the department in obtaining a trailer for training sessions. Twelve Casa Grande firefighters now form part of the department's confined space technical rescue team, which will be ready to respond to emergencies in confined spaces throughout the community. The Public Works Department provides commercial and residential trash and recycling collection, wastewater service, and road maintenance in Casa Grande. Last year, crews resurfaced Treckle Road from Jimmy Kerr Boulevard to McCartney Road and paved Early Road from the I-10 to Puritt Road. Crews also resurfaced portions of other city streets in the community. Building and development continued in Casa Grande in 2013. Dairy manufacturing giants Franklin Foods and Commonwealth Dairy opened processing plants in the community, adding hundreds of new jobs to the local economy. Company officials from AZ Sourcing broke ground on the multi-million dollar Phoenix Mart project in November 2013. When completed, the 1.75 million square foot business to business sourcing center will create thousands of jobs in Casa Grande. Something that's really neat about our positioning is of course the 8 and the 10 right in between Phoenix and Tucson in the Sun Corridor. That is one of our biggest assets um, and it separates us, which I'm glad from Maricopa County and Phoenix and from Pima County and Tucson and gives us our own identity, but we are poised um, to attract large, large businesses, small businesses, medium sized and we're ready to support them. We have the infrastructure in place, we have sewer lines, we have rail served industrial parks, we have the freeways. So I mean we're ready. Um, and we are, we are open to new businesses coming in. We don't want to become a bedroom community. We want citizens to live here, work here, and shop here. So we are, it's important for us to have those relationships with our economic development partners. Access Arizona and the Greater Phoenix Economic Development Council ensure that we um, are exposed to businesses that are looking to um, um, expand their, their companies here or totally start a new business. I think we're in great shape. We're strategically placed within the state. I think we're ahead of many, many communities and especially our size. I mean, economic development um, will lead to more businesses. We'll have that balance of rooftops and businesses that I think will make uh, our economic development uh, really strive. That wraps up our video showing the accomplishments of the city for the 2013 year. We hope you enjoyed watching. To keep up to date with all the projects going on in the city of Casa Grande, please visit us at www.casagrandeaz.gov, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching. I'm Mayor Bob Jackson from the city of Casa Grande.